Hi there, thank you for watching this clip on finding domain of domain and a range of a very odd function here. Now logarithm function itself, the curve roughly looks like that. It's a monotone increasing function. So the only thing we really have to concern is that this chunk has to be positive. It cannot be zero. So let's set that up. Set that one up. Tangent of x minus pi has to be bigger than zero. Okay, now remember this arc tangent is always an angle. So 3 times an angle minus pi is bigger than 0. So let's see, tangent inverse of x is bigger than pi over 3. Now tangent inverse, tangent curve, let's start on tangent curve first. Okay, this is tangent of x. So inverse of a tangent looks like a flipped version of that. This actually comes pretty handy for this particular problem. So this one is my x. Those are numbers. And then these are angles. So tangent is, arc tangent is bounded by pi over 2 and minus pi over 2. So we're looking for basically an equivalent of tangent of what theta that's uh, equal to pi over uh, pi over, th no, the other way. Tangent of pi over 3 is equal to what? Pi over 3 is a 60 degrees, so it's radical 3 here. The number here is radical 3. Okay. I wish I'd drawn this a little bit bigger. Okay. Pi over 3, and going over pi over 3 here is radical 3 here. So pi over 3. You know, actually, we probably should have drawn this one bigger. Let's draw the inverse out. This is tangent inverse of x. Here's x. x are numbers. I always like to write it out. This is equal to angles. Okay, so pi over 2 is bounded over here, and then minus pi over 2 is bounded on the bottom here. Okay, so we're looking for pi over tangent inverse of x is bigger than pi over 3. So pi over 3 is over here. Pi over 3 is corresponding to radical 3 here. This is pi over 3. Okay, so we want pi over 3 tangent of x is bigger than pi over 3. So we want in this range here which corresponding to anything x, y that's bigger than radical 3. So our domain, i.e. requirement on x, is radical 3 to positive infinity. Okay. It cannot be, uh, cannot be radical 3 because the logarithm is not defined at 0. Okay. So here's our domain. Now, having found a domain, let's put our function back in again to find the range. Basically, I have a log of 3 tangent inverse of x minus pi. Okay. Now, remember earlier we said a logarithm is a monotone increasing function. Okay. So what we need to do is find what's the lowest one and what's the highest one. Now, notice over here the arc tangent is bounded by pi over 2. So largest this one could ever get is pi over 2. So one extreme value is pi over 2. So largest, largest uh, value for f of x is this. Log of 3 pi over 2 minus pi, which equal to log of pi over 2. Okay, so this is the largest. Now what about the smallest? Okay, if this one smallest as x can only take on radical 3 is my range, it was, is my domain. So when I take on radical 3 here, this is a radical 3 here, and this one is close to 
zero. This whole thing close to zero. So on my log curve here, I'm going to go to negative. So our range is negative infinity to log pi over 2. Okay. This is not a positive infinity. The fact that this tangent inverse is bounded by pi over 2 determine the largest value we could possibly have for this function. Okay, so here's the domain, here's the range. Well, that's how we handle this problem. Hope it's clear. Please share your comments on YouTube and vote like if you find this video helpful. Thank you. Till next time, have a confident day.